Mm, smells like London, in it. <laughs> that was blue in this new country. So you get. Hi guys, it's another day. I'm back on this other campus. There's a fair going on over there. Because one man escorted me today. Say hi. Hi. Hi guys, this is probably going to be an intro for one of the videos. I don't even know. At this point, I've just been recording, recording. By the time I get home today, I will try and sort it out. Like sort out all the videos and then see how I would um, post them one after the other. But yeah, today is just a regular day. I remember I said in my previous video that I wanted to get a case for my ID and a lanyard. And I got those today. I got a hoodie and I got a shirt as well for proper identification. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm just going home now. I need to rest. I'm so tired. I feel like since I got here on Sunday, I haven't rested and I just feel very tired. I went to my GP yesterday and I wore a dress to go thinking oh it won't be that cold this afternoon the sun is out and then i didn't get a bus to come back home so i had to walk okay that's it and then the cold entered my leg and now like my legs hurt like the joints in my leg really hurts and i know that is from cold so i'm just going home to go and rest today yeah so i came back here today just for the fair um there are a lot of like groups student union groups which one do you want to join and all of that um, um recruiters there are some recruiters <laughs> there are like um, charity organizations i know i took let me show you see me thinking my husband has gone he missed his bus three buses are they no, don't, don't, don't Three buses this man has missed. Look at my hand on top police character certification. Okay, so as I was saying, guys, this one, this is one of the like charities. They help with like prayers, they help with the um, financial support as well. Then this one is for young people they have a youth club they help with um um early years as well like children that are on that on the that less privileged well less privileged it's basically charity work so the student students union group that if they encourage students to volunteer so i'll check it out then Domino's too was there enticing people with free pizza slices <laughs> and they're also looking for people to come and walk they are looking for cyclists wanted they're looking for cyclists but that one it's not what we are looking for then this one is the christian union in Gloss Christian Union, University of Gloucestershire Christian Union. I don't think. What time is my own bus coming? 12.17. 12.17. And what's the time now? 
So yes, for this Christian Union, they help you to settle down, find a nice church for yourself. They also have meetings, prayer meetings and all that. And they gave me a free book. And they invited me for something this evening. They are going to be reading this book, Making Sense of Life. I'm going to read it at the meeting this evening and discuss it and everything. So yeah, I don't think I've even mentioned where I am. I'm in Cheltenham. <laughs> Cheltenham, that's where we are, and I'm going to be studying. I'm going to be studying education, ethics, and leadership. So that's it for now. Peace out. Hi guys, finally back home, and I am tired. <laughs> um, yeah, today was a long day. So from school, we found out about this job fair. And since we just got here now, so we decided it would be a good idea to just go see like what jobs are available, we'll talk to some employers. And then when we got there, there's this company that helps with like recruitment, career advice, CV and everything. And so we just told her, oh, we just came from Nigeria. Obviously, we're looking for jobs, you know, even though it's just our third day here, right? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, our first day here. I said, okay, we should send her our CV and she'll make some notes and, you know, tell us how to make like a UK style CV. And yeah, basically just career advice. So we walked around, met some employers, saw some jobs that were being advertised. And yeah, that was a good, um, it was a good um, event, I guess. Yeah, guys, so I'm home now. I'm making a mono soup. Let me show you in our small kitchen <laughs> i'm making a bono please it <laughs> so i'm just boiling the turkey now and then i'll add uh -uh. wow the light here is good though and then i'll add the bono and everything so yeah that's basically been my day um i'm not going anywhere tomorrow in fact i'm not going anywhere again until sunday since we got here, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I've been out every day. Ah, uh -uh, what happened? Today again, we also got lost. We're not lost, but we entered the wrong bus. And like, we finished all the stops. I went to the last stop. And then the lady was like, ah, that we've passed all the stops, that we are still here. So we explained to her what we were going. She was like, oh, we entered the wrong bus, but it's fine that she's going back that our way now. It's just that it wasn't the route that she was on at first. So we shall have ended up finding our way and everything. And yeah, we're back home. So until Sunday, um, I heard about the church. So our our hosts in our current Airbnb um, she told us about her daughter who is dating a Nigerian guy, and that it would be nice for us to just see him, talk to him. So last night we met with him and the girlfriend, and yeah, they were really nice. Um, we're moving to another airbnb though and they helped us like they helped hook us up with one of their friends who does airbnb and yeah they were sure nice why did i bring that up now i can't remember <laughs> why did i bring that up looking about our host okay so i remembered what i wanted to say so um our host's daughter and her boyfriend while we were talking they were like oh do we go to church i'm like oh no we just got here we're looking for a nice church and then she told us about this church that is mo like is the most multicultural pentecostal church here in cheltenham and so on sunday we're going to go check it out so i guess that will be a whole different video on its own um but yeah today is wednesday so tomorrow thursday friday saturday i'm going to be <laughs> well friday we're moving to a new airbnb so yeah other than that i'm not going anywhere i don't have to go to school i have i have induction next week thursday um after that there's nothing again until upper week when classes start so the next three days I'm basically going to be at home and i'll be editing videos and arranging my vlogs and scheduling them because i've just been taking videos 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 i haven't gotten to work yet so yeah I guess that will just keep me occupied these three days that I don't plan to go anywhere. Yeah, guys, let me wear my my sweatshirts so that you people can see. Hey, uni girls, babe. Oh, she. <laughs> so this is it. I don't even think I need to wear it. I just put it here. You can see now. 
Ta da! Mmm, it smells like London, ain't it? <laughs> I really like this color. I don't know if you guys saw it in the video because these days I cannot trust my husband to vlog anything for me. He needs training. So there was this color, there was, um, I think, green. I can't remember. And there was one blue one that was really cute. Maybe I'll buy that one later, Sha. But for now, we are being economical. <laughs> and this is the shirt. How cute! My battery died, but I was basically saying that's what I got: the hoodie and the shirt, and then I also got my lanyard, my lanyard and the case to hold my ID card. Tada! And then this was given to me by this girl that was um, holding up a sign that said "Welcome, international students." So it has like a it has a leaflet. For international students it talks about like um restaurants bus routes just information share that we need so yeah that's been my day guys uh i don't know when next i'll see you but until then like subscribe share support me this is a new journey so you can make me very happy by supporting me you know let us blow in this new country she'll get <laughs> bye